Lonesome Road Blues, a.k.a. Going Down This Road Feeling Bad. This is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is one of the essential instrumentals for banjo players. Right up there with Foggy Mountain Breakdown and Dueling Banjos and the rest of them. I like this one because the main part of the song is up the neck. So we get to work all these different positions up the neck. And then uh, we'll work a down the neck part two that I just sort of made up, similar to what I did with dueling banjos. So let's get started here. I'm going to start with my second finger on the second string. That's a G. Uh, eighth fret. So, uh, and I'm going to hit this with my index finger on my right hand. So I hit that. I slide up to the 12th fret. That may be a tough thing for you right off. If it is, just practice that. Because I want to get a note on both ends of this. I want to get a note here that I pick and a note that I slide into. So I kind of have to be quick with it. If I go too slow, I'll lose it by the time I get up there. So you got to be pretty fast with that slide to get the, um, the G here and the B on the other side. That's the slide up to the 12th fret and stay on the second string. Just slide along the second string from eight to 12. Now I'm going to fret the first string on 12, right underneath my second finger. This is my third finger, my ring finger. I'm gonna hit the first string twice. So all those are quarter notes. So I'm counting one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so again, one, two, three, four, one, two. I've got a, a little, one little four roll here, five, two, one, and back to five. Five, two, one, five. I'm gonna stick my pinky out here on the 14th fret. Keep these fingers in place because I'm gonna be coming back to them, or back to this one anyway, back to my uh, first string. That's uh, 14th fret first string with my pinky and middle finger with my right hand. And now the fifth string, and take the pinky off back to 12. Okay, so, so far I've got my slide up to the 12th fret from eight, eight, 12. First string, five, two, one, five. Okay, now, Let's move on and do our little stretchy licks here. There's two quarter notes at first. I'm on the 10th fret. This is similar to uh, what we did with the up the neck foggy mountain breakdown where we do the. Except in this case, I'm just gonna hit this twice. Bend it both times. Those are both quarter notes. So again, I'm counting one, two, whole beat on each one. Now, now three forward rolls in a row, and they're all alike. They're all doing, they're all stretching the tenth fret on the second string. Five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, five. I'm gonna move back to eight there. So I'm on ten here for my stretch. So stretch, stretch. Five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, five. Index finger moves back to the eighth fret, second string. Okay. So from the top again, starting with eight. So I start and end at eight for this little sequence. So this is um, eight to 12 slide, first string, five, two, one, five, one, five, one, five, stretch, stretch, five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two. Okay, now let's uh, do our little C chord here. And uh, I do this one with my second finger on the third string. That's the uh, ninth fret. And my first finger's on the second string, eighth fret. My third finger is going to move up here. And there's a reason I use my third finger, not my pinky. Uh, I'll show you that. That's the tenth fret on the first string. That's my C chord. Notice, uh, if you know your chords, that's your C chord up the neck. So why don't I just take that finger off and use my pinky there? Because 
Um, when I do my little roll here, uh, I'm doing three, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. I'm gonna come up here and, and do this is this is like like my Cumberland Gap triangle down here, except it's up three frets. So if you if you know your Cumberland Gap up and down, you know this triangle down here. Nine, eight, nine. This is 12, 11, and 12. So that's my second uh, part of my C chord here. So I got my C chord down here. Three, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. I'm going to move up here to this triangle. And that's two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. That's my Foggy Mountain uh, roll from your original rolls page. Two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. And do an index middle, thumb middle. Five, two, one, five. Okay, so my, my two parts to my C uh, sequence here. Three, one, two, one. Two, one, two. also ask well why am I putting my finger here on the third string why am I not playing the third string because my next lick is going to be down here in my Cumberland Gap triangle which does use the third string so I'm using the third string here and instead of just lifting off there and having to put it back on there I just go ahead and just keep it on here so here this is the same as a triangle except all I'm doing is moving my third finger up one fret. So you go from this G or E minor, they're kind of interchangeable. You change one fret on one string and suddenly it becomes a C chord. That's how interrelated all these chords are. So again, C sequence. Three, one, two, one. Sorry. Two, one, two, one. Now I'm coming back down here from my triangle and a G lick. Now, you'll remember this G lick. I called this G lick number two in my uh, uh, Foggy Mountain Breakdown Up the Neck video part. Well, I, I think I just, I don't even remember. I think I did one video for both of those. Or maybe I did two videos. But it's the first Up the Neck part for Foggy Mountain Breakdown where it starts with the strings. So anyway, one, five, three, one, five, two, one, five. And then I just end up on my index finger on my right hand on the second string. I'm on the eighth fret there. It's nine eight nine is my triangle. So I'm gonna one five three one five two one five two. Couple of four rolls. Five two one five two one. I'm gonna repeat my C sequence verbatim. Three one two one. Back up to this triangle up here. Same G lick. Fifth string. Slide back up to the 12th fret on the second string. Fifth string again. Okay, so that, that um, I'm down here. Two, five, two, five. And I'm sliding back up and get, get this little, little slide sound in there. And again, it's two, one, two, one are the strings. Eighth fret, twelfth fret. And notice I'm putting this finger down too, because that's my next notes. First string twice. And uh, five, two, one, five, four roll. And here's my little stretchy lick here again. Two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. That one is straight out of your Foggy Mountain Breakdown up the neck. Two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. And here comes my G lick again. Now, from here, I can go back to the top of the page. So that's what I'll do on uh, page one of Lonesome Road Blues, if you got that in front of you. I'll go back up to the top of the page where the line is, and I'll start again. First string. Five, two, one. 
one five. Stretches. Sequel.